back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to our Halloween makeup series. The look I have for you guys today is going to be a dark queen. Alright, let's get right into the makeup. So the first thing we want to do again is clip our hair out of the way because it's just always in the way and we don't need it there. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is fill in our eyebrows. I'm going to be using the icing brow kit again. So once we have our eyebrows finished, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the eye makeup. And then I usually do this at the end of the video, but I feel like my lips are looking really dry, so I'm going to go ahead and just add some red lipstick on. So the palette we're gonna be using first is going to be the Live Love Glam palette. And then the first color I'm gonna be using is this purple, and I'm going to be using that to put all over my eyelid. And then you're gonna wanna bring it all the way up past your crease to give yourself like this dramatic kind of eye look. Kind of like a cartoonish type of queen, like all the way up. Now we're going to blend the edges out a little bit on the eyeshadow with this one right here. Now we're gonna be switching to the Be Beautiful palette for this shade. And then for the under eye, I'm going in with this purple shade. So once you have that packed in under your eye, we're gonna go ahead and work on a little crease action in here real quick. Going back to the Live Love Glam palette, I'm going to be using this small brush it came with and pegging on this silver right here in my, like where a cut crease would be, but I'm not going to worry about making one. I'm just gonna pat it in. The next thing I'm gonna add from this palette is going to be a little bit of contour on my cheeks just to give myself a more dignified kind of look. I don't know. Ooh! Oh, it's super pigmented. Oh my god, let me blend it in. Wow. Going back to the Be Beautiful palette to use the blush in here real quick. We're gonna be using this shade. The next thing, just grab whatever eyeliner you have and give yourself like a huge wing at this point because it doesn't even matter. After you finish your eyeliner, the next thing you're gonna do is just grab whatever mascara you have and just go ahead and put that on. The next thing we're going to add is these little sparkly black things that I got from icing. We're gonna grab one of these decors for each under eye. So we're going to be using this unicorn sparkle. So it's like a little jelly thing, like a little glitter gel. But we're mostly going to be using this to put right here so that the other glitter can stick onto it. So once we have that, we're going to grab our glitter and dip our brush in it. And just go ahead and... That looks okay to me. And just go ahead and go with it. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're gonna go back in with these and we're gonna add some up here. The last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more black lipstick onto here to really give it like a darker red type feel. And then all that's really left to add is gonna be the accessories, but the makeup is done for this look. The first accessory we have is going to be this black and red laced cape. Definitely has like a royal, like an old vibe to it. What is a queen without her crown? We have this lovely black crown brought to us by icing today. We're just gonna slide that on top and we're all good. So this is gonna be the final look of the dark queen. All of the makeup and accessories can be found at icing or Claire's. I hope you guys try out this look. It was definitely one of my favorites now that I see it like in the final form and everything. I definitely like am feeling myself. Like I love this. Like. Who doesn't want to be a dark queen, honestly? If you guys do try out this look, remember to send me a message on Instagram because I'd love to see how it turned out. And be sure to check out my other Halloween makeup videos. Until the next one, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!